And we continue covering Colorado First at five with a mother's message after someone killed her daughter. The victim was one of three people found dead last month near a light rail station in Denver. The victim's mother wants people to know what can happen when their loved ones get addicted to opioids. Our Jamie Lurie live tonight where that crime happened. And Jamie, she really opened up to you, shared her story in the hopes that another family won't have to go through this. She really did. Nicole Boston's mother isn't trying to sugarcoat anything, but she wants people to know that she was a person. She had a life, she had a family, and despite living in this area, she also had a home. And she wanted to be there more than anything, but the opioid addiction was insidious. It led to a senseless act of violence and left a gaping hole in the hearts of many people who loved her. It won't ever be easy for Connie Jones to visit this spot. It's a place where her daughter was living and where she lost her life. Here are some where they were laying. Nicole was laying this way. Nicole Boston was laying next to her husband and a friend when all three were killed. The downfall for the 28-year-old was an opioid addiction that started with cancer. From that, it just went to the pain pills, to the... Connie racks her brain but can't remember when things got so bad. At that time, nobody was worried about the opiates. Everyone was worried about the cancer. She wanted Nicole back home to be a mother to her three children again. And just days before she died. And just out of the blue, Mom, I want to come home. My last words to her were, I I'm waiting here for you. Her attention now is on making sure Nicole's children know their mom loved them. And before her addiction set in, she was smart. And funny. She had the greatest sense of humor. And she hopes people think a little more about others like me. Nicole before dismissing them and Nicole's addiction. So deep she stayed here instead of home. That is a heck of a thing to face every morning, to literally pick yourself up off the ground. How people can dismiss what happens to our most vulnerable, I think, is probably at the heart of the problem. Connie now hopes to be an advocate on behalf of her daughter. Just be kind. It doesn't cost anything and it pays great and it feels great. And Family and friends have set up a GoFundMe page to help support the three children that Nicole has left behind. You can find that information under links and info on our website at cbsdenver.com. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Pretty brave of her to share that story, Jamie. Thank you.